Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Um, I literally just got in from dropping my kids off at the bus. So this is like the most true and honest um, little, I don't even know what this is gonna be. Like I said, I literally just got in and I decided to quickly just kind of turn on the camera um, very, uh, very quickly. So I don't even know really what this is gonna be um i just hope you guys are having a good morning um yeah and let's just start chatting so i was sitting at the table with my kids this morning um getting them ready for school we like all woke up early um, my husband's alarm went off and so last we've been like making a big stink right lately about the girls like you guys really need to start laying in your own beds because by the end of the night, we, both the dogs find their way into our bed. So that's like two 100-pound 100, 100 dogs. By the end of the night, sometimes my oldest still finds herself in the bed, like very, very, very few times. Um, but my two youngest, they're like a little over a year apart. They're, they find themselves in the bed. And if you wake up every single time, it's like a newborn still sometimes. And if you wake up every single time that they, you know, make the slightest moan in their sleep or the slightest cry or whimper, it's like, or when my oldest, when she comes into the bed, she does this like teeth grinding thing. And it's like, it wakes us up. And I swear, by the time you wake up to everyone's needs, it's like you have a newborn. And so we've met my husband, my poor husband, he's like, I need my bed back. Um, because it's just, like, too much. It's too much. And so, we're trying to really, like, teach them independence. Like, okay, if you have a, you know, bad dream, like, come wake mommy and daddy up and we'll come put you back down in your bed and, like, we'll show you how your bed is safe, blah, blah, blah. It's still a whole thing. Sometimes it's just, I mean, my fault too. Like, it's just easier to, like, get them in your bed, put them back to bed and just go back, right back to sleep. And, um, it's just, it's getting to be a lot though. So that's like been the talk of the town at our house. And so last night they all got together and they were like, they made a little sleep challenge. My adult oldest, <laughs> my oldest let them all, the other two, so all three sleep in her bed. And she said, this is the sleep challenge. Like if all of you can sleep in my bed all night, like I don't know what she said she would give them, like, two stickers or something. Like, we, we like to give her, each other, like, little vinyl stickers and whatnot. She's like, I'll give each of you two stickers in the morning or something like that. I don't know. But bless her little soul because she was so sweet. And whatever she did, like, literally worked. I woke up at 2.30 because I was putting, um, this is, like, a whole thing. Like I said, it's so organic. But um, I was putting them to bed in their bed. And then that's when she came in and kind of, like, decided, hey, come sleep in my bed. So I stayed in their bed because I was like, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. And I feel like this is more of, like, a coffee time talk. Um, I was, like, thinking to myself, I was like, this isn't going to work. So I'm just going to lay in their bed because I know they're going to be, you know, crying for mom here soon. And they're going to come back in their bed. They didn't. And I fell asleep. <laughs> my husband, like, came in and took a picture of me, I guess. And I'm, like, racked out in their bed with their little dinosaur blankets <laughs> and um <coughs> so I woke up at like 2 30 with like the best night's sleep ever I felt so re-energized at 2 30 because I was like wow no one woke me up for hours like so then I found my way into my bed and um obviously without not without taking a picture of them all still in my daughter's bed because I was like I know I'm gonna go in my bedroom and they're gonna be cuddled up with my husband like there's no way that they're all still in that bed, but they were. Anyways, very cute, very funny, silly story. Um, so we all got really good sleep. Oh, what I was going with that was that, um, so they all like shot up. Usually my husband's alarm goes off and everyone kind of hears it. He wakes up a little bit earlier. He, like I said, is a saint and he like gets all of their lunges together. And then that's like his time without the kids. And he makes himself his breakfast and it's like his little routine. And, um, so they all kind of shot up around then and it was just like it gave us an extra 30 minutes to have like a really slow morning and um I was at the table I was like coloring well they were coloring um like little elf on the shelf Christmas pictures and I was just like dumping in my planner um I didn't obviously like have my camera I was just hanging out with my kids but um this is 
all within like five minutes. I just wanted to get literally everything off of my brain. Um, so I just like put the date up there. I put like a little journaling thing real quick of something from this morning. Um, I wrote just two things that were going on. My husband went to the gym a little early. Um, I got the girls on the bus. I only notated those down because usually he goes to the gym after the bus. And um, I usually when I try and get them on the bus, if I'm home in the mornings, I've been working a lot of morning shifts. It's like World War Three. Like they don't, they know that I'm not at work right at that point. So they don't want to get on the bus, um, which is actually really sad. So I got them on the bus. I just wanted to notate that um, in case like, anyone had any meltdowns at the school, like, I could look back and be like, oh, yeah, that was the day that, whatever, I write down literally way too much, um, I wrote down my, like, work schedule, appointments that we have going on, I wrote down, like, a few work to-dos, it's the day right before a, um, a payday, so naturally, I'm, like, making my grocery list, but building out my grocery list, I've just been trying to be more effective with building out the grocery list and planning out actual meals, um, now that I have been working a lot more mornings and like what time, like what days I'm able to really cook. And then if I'm not able to cook, if I'm leaving my husband enough leftovers or if I give him something that, you know, he's comfortable cooking. So I really only try and plan out grocery trips now. I used to try and do like two weeks at a time. Obviously very unrealistic, I feel like, as far as my frame of mind, like, I can't think, like, I can only go to the grocery store once in two weeks because produce, either we go through our produce super fast because I try and have, like, a fresh veggie, um, with dinner, and then also I try, we try and give their lunches a lot of, um, fruits and whatnot, so produce we go through super fast, and you can't buy produce, like, weeks out. I don't know what the 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 stipulation the little routine at the grocery store is with like the people who stock the shelves I don't know how often that stuff comes in but I feel like you cannot buy fruit and veggies like more than three days out because like it goes bad so fast <laughs> maybe that's just where I live I don't know it goes bad so fast so I've kind of tried to stick to this like five to seven day range for groceries now um obviously if there's like some of like the more bulk stuff or like you know, the chips or anything like that, but, um, we eat pretty healthy, we've, like, really revamped how we eat and look at snack food anyways, so that's, like, a whole, like I said, this is more like a coffee talk right now, so this is, anyways, how I just kind of, like, dumped the morning, I haven't even looked at my Hobonichi, um, since that's the planner that I've really been, like, carrying around lately, that might have a little bit more, this was just the stuff that, like, I woke up this morning, and I was, like, I feel, like, I need to get all of this out of my brain, onto the piece of paper, and that's really why I truly cherish this notebook. Um, I don't know. I feel most, I don't want to say most productive. I think I've already, like, kind of said that, but, like, I don't, I feel like most, yeah, maybe productive is the word, when I just, like, open this page and I just dump a ton of stuff on the page, I don't feel the most creative, I don't feel the most, like, wow, I love the way this looks, but I feel the most productive. And I love that this, like, does that for me. Um, I was actually just sitting here thinking about, um, like, right before I turned the camera on, I was getting it set up. And I was thinking, wow, like, I should go back. And what I think that this kind of notebook is good for is that you really do, like, put a dump of all the stuff in your head. And whether it gets done or not is sometimes kind of, like, debatable. <laughs> um, so I was thinking, like, wow... I should go back and just, like, get a sticky note of all of the things that kind of, like, went down as a catch-all, um, catch-all, and didn't get done because they just kind of got lost in the words on the paper and, like, make, like, a sticky note or a list of things that just kind of fell into the black hole and need to actually get done. I don't think there will be too much because I've really been using this very effectively lately, but, you know, you never know. So, I also had this out and I got a few little decorations added you know just a little bit of side <laughs> side bling <laughs> that my youngest wanted to add in there um and I just love that it's it has character and it's very cute so this is still this week I um 
I'm just like going back, making sure that I have everything done. Um, as I'm like looking at this, I need to, I feel like I need to look at all of my text messages because I fell asleep last night. I had a lot of work messages come in and I feel like I looked at them, looked at them, but I never responded. So I feel like I just need to like look at my work texts and make sure that I'm not like losing the bubble on anything work related. I know I'm going to be at work soon, but I just, I'm a workaholic sometimes. Okay. That's done. I will do that and then I'll add it here. I'm not going to add, like, look at work text, but I'm going to just make a little block of things that um, I need to respond back to or things I need to take care of when I do get to work that just, like, came up in text message. Um, yeah. So that's just a little bit of, like, how my brain works. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to open this now. I just, I love this so much. I, we went out last night for a little while, um, just to like, get a few things and, um, we got dinner, <laughs> we got five guys and I feel like every time I come in this planner, I change the picture. I just gotta give all my girls all the love. Um, I just want to make sure today's the 13th. That I'm not losing the bubble on anything here. I've already started a grocery list, which is good. Perpetual note to school. I did stop into the MWR. I have not. Um, I was kind of waiting for payday to do that. So these are just the two things that I have written down in here, which is perfect. So I'm not like missing out on anything. I am going to write um, Portland Leather Goods order. So I, um, we wanted to go, I think I already said this in another video, we wanted to go a little bit extra this year for our, um, Christmas gifts for like some of our teachers and Portland Leather Goods they had there. I just love their products. <laughs> I know some people think they're like overrated or whatever, but I love their products. I think they, this is one that's just right on my desk right now. It's, I love the nutmeg. Uh, this is their little, um just like wallet thing situation it's just I don't know simple this is my little planner bag that has like some of my quick go-to things this is I think it's one of their like makeup bags or something also in the nut nutmeg um and I have their uh I bought two at one point one for myself and then one for my mom and I bought the cold brew and the nutmeg because I really appreciate both of those colors and my mom luckily loved the cold brew and I so I've like made my whole personality nutmeg everything from there <coughs> and I think it smells divine it looks divine it's great quality all of it like patinas it's held up um I love it anyways they had a big sale obviously Black Friday everywhere was so we went a little bit extra and got little wallets for them and then it was like the more I thought about more teachers, I obviously, I think it's unrealistic to get teacher gifts for every teacher that interacts with your kid, which I know is terrible. Um, but I do want to like at the end of the year, like make a big basket of things to like take to the school because all the teachers, you know, like make footprints on our kid's heart. Right. So I want to, you know, even like a little note and a little card and like $5 to Wawa for a coffee. I want to do something for like some of the extracurricular teachers like gym and art and all that. Um, but some of these like main teachers, I didn't like every class I swear has a, a main teacher and then like an assistant teacher. And then there's like the extra teachers that come in that have really worked very closely with our family for some of our like more personal family needs that we've had taken care of and like we they play a huge part in our our family so them and then I was like oh my god we can't not get something for the bus driver because she deals with all of our kids on the bus and I know that's no small feat my mom used to be a bus driver and the story she would come home with like you got to be tough to be a bus driver these days so it was like I would think of one more person or one more person. So I had to put two more like small orders in. 
and those are on their way. So I want to do that. Um, I'm just putting that there so I don't lose the bubble on something like that. Um, what else? Meal planning, which I going to cross off just because I wrote it down in here. Probably when I get off the phone, I'm going to just like start looking at um, some meals to make. I need to buy dance show tickets, which I'll do tomorrow at payday. I wrote make Christmas pretzels. I just, I'll keep that there so I could add it to our um, grocery list. Um, this is for the MWR for my daughter's birthday. This is like a forward thinking thing. I just wanted to like put it down and get it out of my brain. Um, I want to do like a full year for budgeting. We always just like, we, I, I always just like write down my income for like that paycheck and then make a list, right? It's like a checkbook register. My husband kind of does like the same thing in his own way, just like on his phone. So this year I really want to track everything, like literally everything, which like I kind of already do that, but it's just on paper and I would like to do that um, just like in one place on Google. So I want to, I've started like looking at YouTube videos, how to make like a budget sheet on like the Google Excel sheets or whatever and make it like look nice. Uh, so I just wrote that down so that I don't lose sight or forget that. And then this is next week. I've already put my schedule down. And then I haven't put my schedule down for that following week yet. But it's, I could probably could right now. Um, 25th mornings. I'm just going to put mornings question mark. Because it's Christmas. I'm going to see if someone else can like do something for me. Um... 11 to 4. I don't even know if these are going to work because it's the week of Christmas. And then 5 to 11. Lights to lights. And then crap. So, very cool. Oh, my big doggy came in. Alright, that's really it. Um, Like I said, I just wanted to like come on and show a very... Um, rough like not morning routine I don't know just like morning sit down all the things that I've done it's only I don't even know I just got my kids off the bus onto the bus so it's got to be like before nine snow and I just wanted to show like before 9 a.m on a day that I am home and, and and am off for a little bit before I go in for like the night shift how the it looks in my planner um so thank you for sticking along for like mostly just a coffee chat and i'll see you guys in my next video bye